Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Glad to see you again in Mathematics Lesson Year 4 DLP. The topic that we are going to learn right now is number patterns. You can refer in your textbook page 11 and page 12. At the end of the lesson, I hope you will able to state the number patterns and number two, you able to complete the missing number in the number patterns. Let's start with example number one. The girl said that the number pattern increased by sixes. By looking at the example given, we can see that there are some changes, especially in place value 1 and place value 10 for every number in the number line, while there are no changes in place value 100, 1000 and 10,000 for each number in the number line. So, by looking at the changes 10 to 16, we can see that the changes is in increasing order. Okay? Why it is increasing order? Because the number from 10 to 16 to 22 to 28 become larger and larger. So, the increasing value from 10 to 16 is increasing by by 6. Same with 16 to 22, also the same. The increasing value is plus 6 from 22 to 28, also plus 6. So, from this number line, we can say that the number pattern increase by sixes. So, how to state the number patterns? Okay, the number patterns can be stated by using this sentence. We can say that the number patterns increases or decrease by ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, or ten thousands depending to the question given. Or, if you found out that the increasing or decreasing value is by 2, by 3, or by 4 until 9, you can see that the number patterns increase or decrease by if you find out that the increasing is 2, so you can say by 2's. Simply by putting S at the end of the word 2. Same with 3 by 3's, by 4's, by 5's, but for 6, you need to put ES by 6's, by 7's, by 8's, and by 9's. Simple, right? I hope you can do it. Okay, now let's look at another example. The girl said that this number pattern decreases by sevens. From the number given, you can see that there are some changes in the set of numbers. In example A, you can see the changes happen in place value ones and tens. Okay. From 17 to 10 to 3, it is a decreasing pattern. So, we can say this number pattern decrease. Decrease by what? Decrease by 7. 17 to 10, the difference is 7. Same with 10 to 3, also the, 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 the difference also 7. Okay, 
for example B, we can look at the number line by looking at the arrow flow we can see that the number is in decreasing pattern the decreasing pattern is decreased by 7 because from 10,017 to 10,010 we can see that 17 become 10 from 10 become 3 from 3 become 96 and from 96 become 89 okay now look at example number 3 the question is what is the number pattern above so you need to state the number pattern for 5 numbers above here the number starting from 20,730 following by 30,730 40,730 50,730 and 60,730 First of all, you need to identify what place value the digit has changes we start looking at place value once the digit are the same so there are no changes in ones in tens the digit also the same no changes in tens in hundred all digits are seven no changes in hundreds in thousands also the same all digits are zero so no changes in thousands for 10,000, we find out that there are some changes from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. The digit become larger and larger. So, it is increases. So, we can say the number pattern increases. By, by what class? By 10,000. Because the changes happen in 10,000 so we choose 10,000 so you write again the answer the number pattern increases by 10,000 ok now let's continue to example 4 the question is the number pattern below is incomplete there are two blanks that you need to answer okay how do you answer it? the number here okay first you must look the changes okay from digit ones we can see that digit ones here is five five and five all digit are the same no changes so the digit five and the digit four ones in the blank should be five and five Okay, let's look at digit 10, 7, 7, 7. All digits are 7 for ones. So, the digit 4 tens here should be 7 too. And then, same with hundreds. We find out that all hundreds digit are 2. So, for the blank, also 2. But, for digit Thousands, we look at digit thousand, eight, become seven, blank, and become five. So you can spot the difference in digit thousand in decreasing form. Okay, because the number or the digit becomes smaller and smaller. So we can guess that eight becomes seven, seven should be. Yeah, it should be 6 6 to 5 5 to 4 Okay And then we continue to 10,000 digit 8, 8, 8 All digit are the same So The digit for, for 10,000 In the blank should be 
the same. That is it. So you get the answer eighty six thousand two hundred and seventy five, and the last blank eighty four thousand two hundred and seventy five. That's how you answer it, and you get the correct answer. For the last example, which is example number five, the question need you to find out what is the sixth number in this number pattern. You need to find out the sixth number. To find out the sixth number, one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to find out all the blank in the question. So I will show you how to get the answer. Okay, first you need to arrange the number by its place value, as shown here. Okay, and then we need to find out the changes starting from place value once. We can see that all digit are seven, and for the blank digit one should be seven too. Okay, for tens, the digits are zero, so for the blank, digit ten should be zero too. For hundred, the digit five, six, seven, there are changes. Right, the number become bigger and bigger. Five, six, seven. The next digit should be, yes, yeah, should be eight, nine, and. Then, then the digit hundred here should be zero. Okay, let's look at thousand. The thousand digit are all the same five five five. Okay, if you want to complete the number, so you must say it together with the digit that has the change. Example here five and seven is fifty seven, fifty eight. Fifty-nine, and after fifty-nine, there is a little bit changes in thousands place value, which is after fifty-nine, the num the digit here will change to sixty-six. Okay, you get it. Okay, for ten thousand, the digit one 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 all the same, and it should be. The same here. So the question wants you to find out the sixth number. So the sixth number is sixteen thousand and seven. You can answer by writing sentence like this: The sixth number in this number pattern is sixteen thousand and seven. I hope this explanation can help you to understand the topic number patterns. Good luck, everyone, and see you again. Bye bye.